Pardon me brother, but may I borrow some of your property? Because I currently am deficient in the essential sustenance known as oats. I'd really appreciate some oats, brother. Before I relinquish to you my oats, you must answer three of my questions about slope, brother. The first question is, what is the slope of the line between the 2.0 negative 1 and 3, 3? Well that's an easy one, you just, um, I'm not quite sure, brother, is it a negative slope or positive slope? I don't understand, brother. You are a weak-minded fool. I am the almighty janitor Jenkins. I know everything about dancing, and also how to find the slope between two points on a graph. The first thing I will teach you is that you must always read left to right. The x-axis increases when you read left to right. Forget about all the garbage that is confusing you. But what actually is slope? It is the number that y increases by, every time you increase x by 1. Remember to always work left to right. If the first point on the graph is 0, 0, and the second point is 1, 2, then x increased by 1 and y increased by 2. Every time x increases by exactly 1, y increases by the slope. So this line has a slope of 2. If you look closely, you'll see that when x increased by 1, y increased by the slope. But what if y decreases every time x increases by 1? If y is decreasing at the same time that x increases, you still find slope the same way. Let me explain. We can see that x has increased by 3. But y has actually gone down by 3, it has decreased. But don't forget the rule. The slope is equal to how much y increases. Every time that x increases by 1, we have to find out how much y is increasing. So the answer is that y is increasing by negative 3. This is what we call a negative slope. When x increases by 3, y increases by negative 3. And I hope you haven't forgotten about the rule just yet. We only care about when x increases by exactly 1. This formula is specifically designed to take any increase in x and convert it to 1, so we can find the slope. I will explain how it works. y1 is the y position of the first point and y2 is the y position of the second point. Subtracting y2 and y1 like so will always show you how much y is increasing. The first coordinate has a y value of 3 and the second coordinate has a y value of 0. Subtracting the first point from the second point will always show you how much y has increased. If you do the same thing with x it will show you how much x has increased, and by dividing the two increases like so will result in how much y increases when x increases by 1. Take a look at the math. The whole point of this formula is to convert the x increase to exactly 1, and therefore we discover our slope is the y increase when the x increase is 1, meaning this graph has a slope of negative 1, because each time x increases by 1, y increases by negative 1. Back to the original question. The graph starts on point 0, 01 and ends on point 33 3, because we always read left to right. By subtracting the first y position from the second, we can see that y has increased by 4, just like how subtracting the first x position from the final x position shows us how much x increased. Now we know that y increases by 4 every time x increases by 3. This means that y increases by 4 thirds every time x increases by 1. Slope is even easier to find with a linear equation. In this equation, every time x increases by 1, y increases by 3, this is because y is equal to 3 times x. Even if you add a number on the side, y will simply start off different, but increase at the same slope of 3. They call the situation, y equals mx plus b. As long as y has a coefficient of 1, and you can get an equation into this form, m will always be the slope. Also I should mention that when x is increasing but y never increases, this is special. It is 100% fair to say that whenever x increases by 1, y is increasing by 0. So this is called a slope of 0, 
or as some people say, the slope. But a vertical line is not the same. Because slope only works when x increases by 1, if x is never increasing by 1, we cannot find the slope, so we call this undefined, or indeterminate, because you can never determine the slope. Well, brother. It looks like he answered the question for you, which means you failed. So therefore, you may have nerds.